I should have dug this out when it was powder. A little bit crunchy right now. So I never did get those moccasins uh, that I was looking for. They never showed up, but I did get these beasts. These things are hogs. I picked them up for 45 bucks and they're for minus 70. They're a bit lumpy. They're not like uh, hiking boots, but for straight up warm boots, um, these are awesome. These are Baffin boots, and I believe these are the minus 70 boot. So this should keep my toes toasty. And this is leather here. It's not uh, nylon or anything. And of course it's got the insert, but these have been amazing. Don't need it today though, it's beautiful out. It's about minus five, gorgeous weather. So remember friends, if you have a cabin and live in snow country, anything on the roof, including three, four, five feet of snow is gonna end up down here. So if you have something down here, you're not gonna see it till the spring. So this is the old fire pit. We don't use it much, obviously, in the winter. I uh, use it in the summer and fall. So I just relocated it over here. So I mentioned in the last video that you end up with some bigger pieces that won't fit, I think it was in the last video, in the smaller wood stove. So these are them. Um, I got a bunch of them. So these will work perfectly. And again, they're too long. This is too big um, for that little wood stove. So these work perfectly in the fire pit. So it's funny, I got a couple comments um, on my fire building technique and you know how you used to build it or I used to build it. It was some big elaborate deal. Um, I, I've, been using, I've been using the top down method and it's awesome. It heats up the flue really quick and you don't have to mess with it. You know, if it folds up or falls over, uh, you don't have to keep messing with it. It's just an unbelievable system. 